Well, I just want to welcome Marvin Marie from uh, Dallas, Texas, and new owners of a uh, Avion Class D motorhome. And just wanted to ask a few questions uh, before you guys hit the road. And uh, we appreciate your business. And uh, and I guess uh, kick it off with how'd you guys find us? Well, we basically uh, we found you in the motorhome magazine. And the picture and your concept and your sales concept uh, attracted our attention very easily. Very good. And you'd been in the market for a Class B motorhome for how long? Well, I would say we've thought about it uh, in our camping. We, we have a full-size motorhome, and, and it, it's quite an accomplishment. I collect classic cars, and so I tow a big trailer. And, but we thought it, it's an awful big piece of equipment to can't go around. So our thought was to get a smaller unit that had all the comforts at mm -hmm. home. Uh, and, and, and so uh, we've been shopping and, and looking at different dealers and different types, and we were very much attracted to you. Very good. And you, how long will you be using it on the road? It, what will be the duration of your trip? Well, I, I don't know. This first trip, we, we, we will spend about a week in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that was the original reason we went to a bigger motor home, is we spent a week in it, and we said, we got to have a big one. Well, we went overboard. So now, we, this is what, last night we spent the night in your unit, uh -huh. and we're very, very comfortable, very pleased, all the room we need, very good. and I think it's going to be a, a, a part of the family. Very good. The maneuverability of it is so much easier, uh -huh. at our age, of course, than pulling a 45-foot oh, yeah. and then towing. And uh, I, I think it will tow uh, a little small tow car we have, mm -hmm. it will allow us to visit. So you have a tow car on the back and right. it's already hooked up. Very good. <laughs> so it it probably weighs a lot less than the 5,000 pounds that are yeah. that the uh, Avian can tow. Right. It's so. the new Fiat. Yeah. Uh, it's small and mm -hmm. it'll pull good. Oh yeah. Yeah, those are nice. Yeah. We love that car. we got 38 yeah. miles to go and come wow. in here. So you can have two vehicles if you're getting really good oh, fuel yes, mileage. Absolutely. Down there. Yeah. And one that we get nothing there. The big motor home. The big motor home. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the negative on it. <laughs> ah. So you guys have you you found us on the internet, I guess kinda of go through the process of of how you got in touch with us. You uh, uh, called one of our sales reps. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we ca we called the uh, we called a number and it said uh, hit one for sale and of course we, we got a very very nice knowledge of salesman Ben is his name. Uh -huh. Or back her up down, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And he was uh, just just been more than had all the information I needed. He answered all my questions. Uh -huh. And you know, my first inquisition was, you know, what about this concept, you know, uh, direct to the individual? And I think that's wonderful because We've owned motorhomes all our life, and the, the dealers make a lot of money. Yeah. And, until they go bankrupt. Yeah. And and so I, I like the sales concept, mm -hmm. and of course it goes twelve hundred dollars to get here. Mm -hmm. I pretty much bought it. Bought the coach after talking to Ben. I bought uh, the Mercedes fan. Uh -huh. Pretty much over the phone. I gave him three thousand dollars and. Uh, he sent us pictures, uh -huh. very thorough, very thorough, uh -huh. and, coach, and we, we knew what we were getting before we got here. So he gave you really detailed shots. Yes, yeah. He knew all the questions. Uh -huh. And being lifelong motorhome owner, we had a lot of questions. There were very few that we had to check on. Very nice. Good. You know, one of the, the things that we, I guess, in our uh, model where we sell factory direct is we have customers have a little concern with who we are. Did you have any of those kind of concerns about, you know, not knowing who you were dealing with or? Well, no, because kind of uh, we asked about warranty service. I can't go 1,200 miles to, you know, get a service. Uh -huh. And so uh, we talked to your specialist, and uh, they will find someone near the reputable that does warranty work. So that didn't worry me too much. And also, yeah. Mercedes, 
we know all the camping systems in the motorhome system, but Mercedes has a very good name, and so we thought that would be. So cool. yeah, you have a Mercedes dealership pretty much anywhere. Right. That's right. right. And I've owned Mercedes. Yeah. And so I've been very happy. With it. Yeah. And that's the nice thing about I think the class fees is you have so much covered in the vehicle by Mercedes, by Mercedes. because it's the windshield wipers, all the systems, the air conditioning. Yeah. All the automotive systems in the body is all made by Mercedes. And yeah. That's kind of in contrast to uh, you know a lot of our vehicles. So. We have also been so impressed with the staff. Very informative, very helpful, very willing to do anything that we might question. Uh -huh. they, they knew the answers and were more than willing very good. to help us. So you took advantage of staying overnight, yes, which we like. Absolutely. We like to have customer come in and you know learn how to everything about and I know you guys already know a, bit. a lot about right. motorhomes and RVs. But well and when you do the walkthrough you think oh yeah I know that I know that but then when you're by yourself you forget it. I, now mm -hmm. where was that switch? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so staying overnight was a benefit. So this morning you kind of got the brush up on the walk right. around right. And, yeah. Things that you maybe didn't learn last night about the vehicle. Or... Well, and one thing we, we were trying to locate an electric plug. Well, it was behind the seat of one of the passenger ah, things. Okay. So we thought, oh, yeah. Well, after, uh, after she showed it to us again today, we suddenly remembered they showed it to us. Yes, we did. Uh -huh. And we thought, oh, I forgot that that was there. <laughs> what were some of your favorite things you liked about uh, the Avion Class B? Well, it, it, it was a number of, there was a number of things that were impressive. Uh, one of the things I thought was really good was the roominess of the bed. Uh -huh. It is a full king-size bed. The second was, on the sides and the rear, is an expansion of the rear window. Mm -hmm. And you got a shelf there. Uh -huh. And even on my big coach, I don't have room to put my junk uh -huh. when I go to bed. And they always take water. Bed, oh so yeah. We just had it right there. Uh -huh. yeah, there's space to put excellent water and and there was a number of other things. Uh, uh, we were very impressed with the system. You know, cut on air conditioning, it cooled very well. Although we didn't need it last night, we did yeah. cut the fan on. So we've got our super insulation. Was it pretty quiet? Absolutely. You had a In little fact, bit of a thunderstorm was, last night. It was yeah. super quiet. But we couldn't hear it. Very and good. there was uh, some wind blowing, and, and, and I heard it, but I didn't feel it shaking the coat. Mm -hmm. The coat seemed very stable when we walked around. Well, again, we appreciate your business, and uh, I know you guys got to get it going because you're hitting the road to out east, and I uh, yeah. hope you enjoy your trip, and uh, we're going to keep in touch. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And Thank we'll you. probably be, uh, unless we have some problems that we don't expect, and I don't think we will, we, we'll probably buy another coach from you. Well, thank you. Yeah. Marie, Marvie, thank you very much thank again. You. Thank you. you and have a great trip. Thanks. We appreciate it. Thank you.